secondary outlet. Float and thermostatic traps offer a combination of mechanical and thermostatic operation. A closed float is used to sense the density difference between a gas and a liquid. The float is attached to one end of a lever which pivots inside the trap. At the opposite end of this lever is a valve that is seated when the float is at rest. Condensate enters through the inlet near the top of the trap and raises the float, opening the valve. The condensate drains from the trap through the outlet near the bottom, leaving a condensate seal between the inlet and the valve. Above this seal, near the top of the trap, is a thermostatic bellows. The bellows responds to temperature change. When this space is filled with hot steam, the thermostatic valve is closed. Non-condensables, such as air, mix with the steam and cool the space near the top of the trap. When the bellows element cools sufficiently, the thermostatic valve will open and vent these gases into a passage leading to the trap discharge. At startup, the float is down, the float valve closed, and the thermostatic valve wide open. Non-condensable gases reaching the trap are immediately vented through the thermostatic valve at the top of the trap. Condensate collects at the bottom of the trap until the float begins to rise, opening the float valve. The float valve normally drains continuously from this point. The condensate level in the trap lowers and raises the float height, thus modulating the discharge flow. When steam reaches the trap, it collects above the condensate level and heats the thermostatic element, closing its valve. Hereafter, the thermostatic valve will open intermittently to vent mixtures of non-condensables and steam. Should the trap become waterlogged, cooled condensate would open this valve and drain to the discharge line.